digital romance TV. Hey folks, how are you? It's Michael Fiore and Nora Blake from digitalromance.tv and today we're talking about the three signs that he's into you. He's so into you, dude. He's so into you. I'm not inside of you. Not but the one where in, he's actually pushing like, inside yes. of you in some way. Um, let's actually talk about two signs that he's that are not signs that he's into you because this people mistake these things sometimes. Okay. One of which is fierce, obnoxious jealousy. That is not necessary. Not that has nothing that to do with you. you. No. That has to do with power mm -hmm. and control. Yeah. I actually have a um, uh, you know my family back in Massachusetts. I have an aunt who passed away quite some time ago. And uh, she had several husbands over the course of the years, but one of them was, was physically abusive. And this is a sad story, but, but also illustrative, where you know, my grandmother would ask her afterwards, she's like, well, you know, what's, well, why would you say those things to him? Because she would really poke and prod and try to get her husband to, to go crazy. And eventually he would, and he'd hit her. And her response was, um, if I can make him that angry, he must really love me. Mm. And that's not true. <laughs> that's not what it is at all, right? Yeah. Jealousy in general, controlling behavior, doesn't mean he's into you. It means that he's got some issues for with control. It, or he has some issues with anger. Yep. And yeah. And I also think, like, you know, I, I have written down here, not Edward Cullen, you know, Edward from uh, the Twilight series. Uh, it's always then funny. that would make you Bella. And it would. Wants and that. she's horrible. Um, but. People kind of feel, they, they, a lot of younger women particularly see that character and the character uh, from Fifty Shades of Grey, who's the same guy, um, as like, oh my God, that's what I really want. No, you don't. No, you that don't. guy is a stalker and he's crazy and he's got superpowers, which is even worse, right? right? But that kind of obsessive behavior where you've got all of his attention all the time and you know he's going to slay dragons and he'll stay up all night and be really moody, that doesn't mean he's into you. It means he's Probably got mental problems. Probably mean he has yeah, some bipolar yeah. things happening. So now for the three things that show that he actually is into you. Number one. I don't remember, there what was go. it? Seeks out alone time. Oh, seeks out alone time. Like he actually just wants to hang out with just you. And I'm not talking Netflix and chill. And sex. Cause that, that is sex. Netflix and chill means. Is that what it means? <laughs> I only heard There's that There's actually term a recently. Netflix and chill condom brand now. Wow. Because that's what that means. Uh, I mean like he actually seeks out uh, in public times, he wants to talk to you, he cares about what you think, he wants to have time alone with you, yep. to do something like go out and do something together, like take a walk or... It doesn't seem like a chore. Things, Yeah, things where it's just the two of you and you're not watching TV or you're not you know, you're actually you're, you're not doing focusing on each other. You know, it's active versus passive engagement, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, a big negative sign in a relationship is that all you ever do together is watch movies. Or, or have sex. Or have sex. Or do things where you're not actually engaged, where there's yeah. a third thing that you're paying attention but to. But even, I, I just want you to hear that. Even if you're having sex all the time with somebody and you're not doing anything but that, yeah. that's not really, he's not that into you, he's into sex. You need to be doing something together, having yes. conversations, going on hikes, doing karate, whatever the hell it is, it doesn't really yeah. matter. Now, conversely, uh, some people are going to be like, like, well, but he wants to spend time with his friends sometimes. Is he not like me? Absolutely. No, he needs to be, there's a balance. It doesn't have to be like all the freaking time. Uh, number two for me is friends, it says here, but does he integrate you into his life? Sure. Do you meet his friends? Do you meet his family? If Do they're you meet local his and yeah. like around and but it's casual does and he, not does like. Does he fly you to around the world right. to meet his like, family? Yeah, I mean, it, we're not talking like, I want to be with you for the rest of my life here, but if he is actively trying to in integrate you into his life, yeah. we're not. More specifically, if he's not keeping you from integrating into his life, because that's a sign that he's really not. That we've had into a, you. we've had plenty of emails and messages over the years from people who say things like, "I've been dating this guy for seven years, but I've never met his friends or his family." Which, and we always say, "Like, well, no, you're not dating him. You're, his, been, you're his long term booty call yeah. at that point." And but he probably has three other families somewhere and things like that. And number three is kind of one of those like, "This is so obvious, but it's still there." Words, mm. words are a thing. Words well, are if, a thing. I mean. And, I, I, and actions, but yeah. Yeah, I would say that there's uh, there's certain people for whom the words are difficult. Yeah, Different but and it doesn't have to be the words. It doesn't have to you. be I love you. I it can you. be I'm really into you. I really enjoy spending time with you. I really. Um, My favorite, by the way. Uh, we should hang out with our clothes on sometime. Aw, yeah. that's a good one. It is a good one. It's really charming, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. you're like, man, I've I li used it I, before. I like you. We should hang out with our clothes it on sometime. It backfired horribly, but oh, whatever. Because okay, then you had to put clothes on? No, because then he didn't want to hang out with me with clothes on. Okay. Well, if you have any signs that you know of that are that could show that a guy is into you, uh, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. And also go over to digitalromance.tv for more videos. Bye.
Did you know there's a three-step formula to make a guy fall desperately in love with you? Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash CHH to learn a simple method any woman can use to capture a man's heart and make him love you forever. Again, that link is digitalromance.tv forward slash CHH.